Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We are studying and taking some devotional time each morning with the book of Malachi. Malachi the prophet, the last prophet, mind you, in the Old Testament. And now we come to chapter 3, verses 8 and 9, and this is a well-known, familiar verse. Let's take a look at it, though, and let's see if we can get behind there and, and get a better understanding. Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, in what way have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings. You were cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Now, many churches, we go and we, we come to this text, and yes, we teach that we should return tithe, that we should return offerings. And that's right. That's totally right. Of course it's right. But remember that this is part of a, a longer stretch of Scripture. This just is one of several things that is happening here. And yesterday morning, we noticed verse 7, that people have been departing from God as long back as everybody could remember. But God says, you know what, just return to me and I'll return to you. But at the end of verse 7, we had this uh, statement. Instead of, yes, Lord, instead of, yes, Lord, it was like, in, in what way shall we return? Like, there's nothing wrong anywhere. Well, but verse 8 and 9 tell us, among other things, which we'll still see, notice that God says he has been robbed. And they say, well, we don't know how we've robbed you. It's so plain. It's so obvious, though. The answer is not a complicated answer at verse 8. How have we robbed you? God's answer back is, is not, well, this is in a spiritual sense, you've robbed me. No, no. It's just so simple. You've robbed me in tithes and offerings. Simple. And he says, you know what? As a result of this, verse 9, you are cursed with a curse. As a result of this, the whole nation is suffering. So God wants us to return our tithes, our ten, the 10% of our income. And you know how it is, right? The whole thing is given to us from him. The, every breath we take, every, every bite of delicious food and healthful food that we eat is from him to us. All seven days of the week are from him, but he only asks us to worship him in the most particular way on the seventh day. We should worship him all week long. All the food and, and wealth that we receive, it's all from him ultimately. But you know what? He only asks for us to return the tithe, 10%. That's already his, so we give that back to him. We don't pay tithe. People say that. We don't pay tithe. Tithe is already God's. You can't pay money that's not yours to somebody else. You return tithe, return tithe. And then there's offerings, and we also give offerings as we've been blessed. But that's not really our main topic today, but I'm just pointing it out to us here. Remember that we are acknowledging God is the king of the universe. God owns everything. Everything we have is on the basis of his gracious gift. And so uh, how have we robbed God? By not giving him our whole service. Have we robbed God by, by really not giving him his due? We have robbed him, and Christians have robbed him. Everybody has robbed him. And yet, what does he say? Verse 7, return to me and I'll return to you. God can make more money in one moment than the, the Federal Reserve can, you know, by pressing a button. The issue is you and I need to return money to him and give money away because we need to give wealth away. Why? Because... Otherwise, we will feed uh, our, the selfishness that grows so easily. It's like a mold that grows on us. So we should ask so that we can give. We should receive from God so that we can bless others. And we got to be careful about taking it to ourselves. And then, as these people were doing, keeping, even keeping the tithe of all things. So simple, so straightforward. Are you tithing? Are you returning to God through your local church? That 10% out of the total that, that he gives you, you should do that. You should do that. You know you should do it, right? And give offerings as he's blessed you. We want to be faithful to God. That's really our main point. This is one way of manifesting it, one way of fighting the, uh, the selfishness bone that we all have in us. And by returning tithes and giving offering to God, we do something to help heal those selfishness bones. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we know we're on the selfish line of things. Thank you for giving us these commands. These are not requests. Help us to be right. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. So, friend, let's be faithful to the Lord. He's been very faithful to you. Every breath you take is from him. Hey, friend, God be with you today. Do his work and return to him, and he'll return to you. I'm sure of it. God be with you.